So we're underway then. 86 kilogram cruiserweight action between highly accomplished boxers from Brazil and Kazakhstan. Quite a contest we have in store here. The Brazilian boxer is Kano Machado. Fresh from his appearance in the Olympic Games, where he lost at the quarterfinal stage to the eventual silver medalist Ben Whitaker. His opponent, out of the southpaw stance, who is looking to target the body immediately. Getting over the front foot is Beck Nurmagenbet. 23 years of age now, the man from Kazakhstan. 2019 Asian Continental Champion in the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division. Second World Championship appearance for Kano Machado. Lost to Nurmagomedov's compatriot and eventual champ Nurdaletov in the second preliminary round. As for Beck Nurmagomedov, I first saw him in the 2016 World Youth Championships where I was in St. Petersburg ringside to commentate as he scores with a good left hand to the body when getting Machado near to the ropes and a good right hand to the body brings about a burst of activity in response from Machado. Boxed his way all the way through to the gold medal bout. Did no Magambet where he was outpointed in the gold medal bout by Scotland's Willie Hutchinson to cap was a t what was a terrific run to top spot on the podium for him. Again, that gives you an idea of the man's quality. Good right hand fired in by Machado. And because there is such strength in depth in the Kazakh squad, it's the first senior world championship appearance for the man in blue. Good left jab fired in or flicked in by Machado once again. Nice movement off the line to cause Namagambet to miss. Oh, plenty of support for support for both boxers here at the Stark Arena. Oh, nice counter left hand off the back foot and then a beautiful darting right hand while skipping to his right from Machado. Very composed individual. And of course, how much will he have grown in confidence from that Olympic experience? Machado picking that body shot wonderfully. Now Magenbet has to be careful that he doesn't watch and wait too long here. He's trying to bob and weave and get his way into distance, but just a little sidestep, some movements in the pocket, as I think. Well, I can tell you that is identical to the chair that I'm sitting on here at the Stark Arena. And after the chair collapsed beneath the weight of Uzbekistan's Shaka John Abdullayev, in the corner, they had a decorator stool, and now they've got one of the chairs from out of the back, and Keno Machado taking the first round in unanimous fashion. Very good performance indeed over the course of the first three minutes. Nomagenbet started brightly, but then Machado with lateral movement, often of the tiniest amount, just able to lean like that and then score with pecking, poaching, poking punches that are very easy to discern whichever side of the ring you are on. And he used that considerable skill to take the first round unanimously. So into the second round we go and having conceded the first round across the board, look at the start made by the Kazakh boxer in blue, but there he's put on the end of an uppercut despite his furious charge out of the gate. Machado keeping his composure and he does a really good job of slowing the tempo to suit his boxing style. Because now Magenbet came out all hustle and bustle, but Machado just presenting seemingly a target in front of him, but with weaving and bobbing as now Magenbet blocked that shot effectively with his left glove and arm. But again, it's because he possesses such terrific reflexes. He almost dares his opponent to pull the trigger and hit him. Because then he'll slip away, slide away, counter with a scoring single. Very clever boxer is Machado. 
counter right hand to the body is a beautifully picked bolo shot after he was picked off by a straight upstairs. Counter right hand again, beating his man to the punch. So it was a shot without reply rather than a trade-off fashioned by the movement of Machado. Answers the telephone once again by bringing that right hand, right arm up to the temple, the right glove up to the temple and blocking the shot with his forearm. Terrific boxing this by the man from Brazil, bobbing and weaving in the pocket. Namagambet swinging and missing with bent arm punches. I think that's because of the movement of Machado slipping beneath the shots that Nomagambet is attempting to fire out. Straight right hand was a shoring, scoring shot down that cluster, within that cluster of volume from Machado. Really not putting much onto these punches, but he did get some leverage onto that right hand to the body. That was countered immediately by a body shot from Nomagambet. Same shot once again, the right hand continually being whipped into the body. Looping right hand over the top was easily evaded by Nomagambet. But less than a minute to go in this round. And a right hand success to the body once again from Machado. Left hook upstairs was a glancing blow landed by the man in red and then a beautiful single shot success once again. Really is picking his punches terrifically. Kano Machado. Oh, right hand to the body, left hook to the head from Machado and Namagambet being reduced to swinging and missing here, trying to bob and weave in the pocket, but Machado with a left hook after the right uppercut was blocked by the forearms. Terrific work. Namagambet dips down and scores with a spearing right straight, straight right hand to the body. He's trying to look for the uppercut. Beautiful round of boxing from Machado once again because Nurmagomedov tried to respond after conceding the opening round unanimously. Came charging out of the gate, but this man, or the man in the red corner, just had again the ability to move things in his favor, work at his own pace, on his own terms, and he's taken the second round unanimously. So one wonders, what can Nurmagomedov do here to try and turn the tide in his favor because to his credit, he did try to increase the pressure to start the, the second round. But then Machado just started giving the man volume before changing it up and then really driving in a right hand to the body. And then when the body shot started bringing the man's hands down, he was finding the room for hooks upstairs. Very clever boxing display from the Olympic quarter finalist. So into the third and final round then. Beckner Magambet, the 2016 World Youth Silver Medalist in the middleweight division, competing here in his first senior world championships in the cruiserweight division. Remember, Kazakhstan have had some outstanding light heavyweights in recent times. Adelbeck Naya Zimbatov. Bekshod Nurdaletov. So it's been crowded at 81 kilograms, no room for the talented Nurmagomedov to make his way onto the national team squad in global competitions. The expansion to 13 weight classes in a cruiserweight division has seen him occupy this berth for the Central Asian nation. And he's run into an Olympic quarter finalist in his first world championship appearance. And the man from Brazil is boxing very effectively indeed. And we should take a moment just to acknowledge how Brazilian boxing has improved on the Aiba global stage, on the Olympic stage in recent times. Remember Falcao eliminated Julio Cesar La Cruz from the Olympic Games in London. Went on to take a place on the podium. And we had Robson Conceicao take Olympic gold in his home Olympics in Rio in 2016. And that has inspired those successes, seemingly a whole host of kids. And Carvalho take the middleweight title with that devastating left hook to cancel Alexander Kizniak in Tokyo earlier this summer. Kino Machado digging in a hard right hand. And such a populous nation is going to have an abundance of people to choose from to take up this sport. 
Football, of course, the king out there by some distance. But it looks as though some of the talented athletes who may have chosen football are now taking up boxing because Machado is wonderfully coordinated. This tall 86 cruise, kilogram cruiserweight. You can imagine him being a ball playing center half or imposing center forward. But here he is in the boxing ring, acquitting himself very well indeed. Right hand is a clipping shot just on the command of stop from the referee. But no Magenbet. He's tried his utmost to make this man uncomfortable, but Kano Machado has shown terrific composure. Good left hand driven into the body for the man from the, from the man from Kazakhstan. Becoming a little bit more of a fight now in the closing stages of this third and final round. But the two rounds of insurance built up by Kano Machado over the first six minutes of boxing will see him go through to the round of 16 in the 86 kilogram cruiserweight division. A very good display indeed against a really talented boxer from Kazakhstan. Tough draw for both, but it's the man from Brazil who has boxed his way through to the second preliminary round. A perfect 32, remember, comprised the bracket in the 86 kilogram division. And so it's through to the second preliminary round, the round of 16, for my money, for Kano Machado. He thinks so too. Let's get the official announcement. Well, look at what it means to Kano Machado, a unanimous points decision victor over Kazakhstan's Beck Nurmagomedov.